Hello all, and welcome to Post Popcorn Picks, the podcast where we here at the Puyallup Post review the newest releases. I'm Troy Tucker, and today we're going to be talking about the possession of Hannah Grace. And I'm Victor Fillion. I'm not at all excited to be talking about this film today. And Troy, what is this movie about? The movie begins with Hannah Reed, an ex-cop who uh, has issues with substance abuse. Through her AA, she is introduced to a nighttime assistant position at the morgue at the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, the body of Hannah Grace, which has been possessed by a demon, is transferred to that same morgue that night, un- which unfortunately puts all the hospital staff in danger. And the film stars Shay Mitchell, Gray Damon, Kirby Johnson, and Nick Thune. Troy, what did you think about this film? This was, this was not uh, overall a good film. Uh, there were redeeming points, such as Kirby Johnson's performance as the demon, uh, she is actually a contortionist and is very good at her craft, as visible by the movie, uh, because she looks like she breaks her bones in every scene she's in, and it's horrifying. Um, but overall, the movie wasn't scary. There were a lot of jump scares that didn't need to be there. There were a lot of earlier jump scares that were like, hey, guess what? It's a scary movie, and it tries to remind you of that, but it's not actually scary. So, it just, it wasn't good. Yeah, I agree. When I wa- At the end of watching this film, I just kind of like looked around and was just like, why was this film even made? It's it's a rated R horror film that wasn't really advertised that much, so it's not really gonna make that much money. But you could tell it was made on a budget. It's very a it's a very contained setting in film. So, and like you said, there was just a lot of pointless jump scares. There was a lot of sl- sloppy writing, and they at least could have just tried to do some stuff interesting with like the cinematography, but it felt very lazy. And none of the characters really stick. Like, everything about the characters either just came off as just, like, they just need to write something to, like, have the audience attached to them and then just forget about it later on in the film. Or they're just doing something, they're introducing a type of element to a character because they're going to kill them off later and they need you to care. And it's literally within, like, five minutes they're introducing these characters, like, personalities and whatnot before they kill them off. So I just... It just wasn't good, and I would not at all recommend this for anybody to go see. There's way more better movies out in theaters this week, and just overall better movies, horror films in general, that are that you could watch instead of this. Uh, I would actually recommend you see this movie, not because it's not terrible, because it is, but because Kirby Johnson, the uh, actor for The Demon, puts on a wonderful performance, and I think people should recognize that she is a great actor, even though she only gets, like, three lines. Her body, like, her body performance is the best I've ever seen in terms of contortionism. Uh, and it's a good way to, it's a good way to kill some time. It's not the be- worst movie I've ever seen, but it's not the best. I would rate it, um, like a 1.5 overall. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm just gonna give it a 1, because it was just, at the end of watching it, I just kind of felt like I just lost an hour and 30 minutes of my time, <laughs> and I could have just been doing something different. Like, I would rather have just seen Overlord again because that was way better than this. Yep. And Overlord wasn't really that scary, but I can just tell you that, like, it, just the visuals, the makeup design and everything is way better than this film. And the writing in it is just way better as well. So I just give it a one out of five. <coughs> well, thank you for tuning in to Post Popcorn Picks. Uh, we will be picking up with more reviews after winter break. Thank you all for stopping by, and we love you.